Thank you, Daniel. Uh, so this talk uh, will be um, a quick introduction to the process management in uh, HAProxy, or more precisely, the master worker uh, mode. Uh, so I won't go into details. Uh, so if you want details, uh, just go talk to me after the, the talk. A little bit of history first. Uh, I won't talk about uh, everything, but the important thing there are the system dev wrapper, which was uh, the ancestor of uh, the master worker mode. Uh, basically, it was um, a bin an external binary, which was uh, launching HAProxy on handling signals. It was made to, uh, to be compatible with systemd, because uh, the diamond mode of HAProxy wasn't compatible with it. In version 1.8, we wanted to uh, reintegrate this feature within HAProxy, so we have uh, only one binary to, to do it. And after that, we announced it with uh, master CLI and the program section. So to understand why we needed the, the master worker mode, uh, I have to introduce the daemon mode on uh, what are the, the flaws in it. Uh, the daemon mode is the uh, original mode used before system day. So uh, when you had a distribution with uh, system five, uh, we, we we used uh, this, uh, this mode. It's a simple design. Uh, basically, it, learn, it only launches uh, the, um, the process. Uh, it can be uh, complex to monitor because uh, you have to uh, monitor every single process. Uh, you can have many, and when you reload, you can have many more. There is no master process, so you, you can't monitor only one, and this is a problem with uh, systemd. So uh, this is the, the architecture of the daemon mode. Uh, for example, uh, you have uh, two processes in your configuration. So you, when you launch it, there is uh, two processes. And if you want to reload it, uh, you have to launch a new process. Uh, this is interesting because uh, with uh, this method, uh, you can update the binary. Uh, because you, you launch a new process. Um, the, the new process will, uh, will load the, the configuration and will send uh, the soft stop signal, which is a USR1 signal. Um, the, the argument is a dash SF uh, followed by the PID of the previous uh, processes. And then once it uh, sends the, the signal, uh, the new process will fork, so two new process, and uh, you will probably still have the older processes uh, because they still have jobs to, to finish. And after that, once uh, they finish their job, they will disappear. This is the problem with systemd because systemd will consider that uh, that Azure proxy uh, left because uh, some process left. Because with systemd, we need a main PID. And to have a main PID, you need a main processes, a master processes, a master process. And this is not the case in this mode. So we wanted to, um, to, to work with systemd, and uh, we, uh, we introduced the master word. So it was inspired by the systemd uh, wrapper, but simpler, because it's not an external binary anymore. So you just have to launch uh, HAProxy with, uh, with an argument. It's only one process to monitor, so you have your main PID for systemd. And uh, there is, a, there is a, a feature, which is a master CLI, which is basically uh, a start socket, which is connected to the, to the master, uh, master process. So oh, there is a little problem. The, it's uh, the same configuration with uh, MBProc2. Uh, in this architect architecture, you can see that there is a master and uh, two workers. So the, the workers are, uh, are still independent. They still don't communicate with each other. But the master is able to communicate with uh, the, the worker. If you want to reload, you have to send the USR2 signal. Uh, this is what is done in the systemd unit file. And once 
you send this signal, the master will uh, reload itself. Uh, we still need the ability to update the binary, so it will re-exec itself. It will load the new binary and then load the new configuration. And after that, uh, all is the same uh, as uh, the daemon mode. It will send the, the soft stop signal. It will fork. And then the, the previous process will, uh, will disappear and they finish their, their job. To launch in master worker mode, uh, you simply put the dash w uh, argument on your command line. Uh, on the first line, you, you can see that will be, um, it will be launched on, uh, on foreground. On the, on the second line, combined with uh, the dash D argument, it will be sent in uh, background. Uh, the last line is the WS argument, which is the master mode with uh, system D um, compatibility. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's the ability to, uh, to connect with a SD Notify API uh, to say to a system, OK, I finished to load the configuration. So you can have your status in a system, system CTL status. And uh, to, uh, to use it, you need to, uh, to modify the, the system unify and put the, the chip notify in, uh, in the unify. OK, so there is some optional configuration. Uh, uh, for example, if you don't want to use uh, the dash uh, W argument, you can use the uh, master worker keyword in the, in the global section. Uh, there is a no exit on fire uh, keyword, uh, which is uh, the opposite of the exit on fire um, ability of the master worker. Um, in fact, if, if there is a problem with uh, one of the workers, uh, for example, if, if he quits for whatever reason, the, the master will kill every other worker on, uh, on leave. So it guarantees you to have a, a complete uh, HEPOXY instance which is working. So if you want to debug and have one of the workers which which can be still there if another one or sec or I don't know if there is an out of memory or I don't know, you can use this keyword. Uh, the, the second keyword is the mworker max reload. Uh, it, will, uh, it will say to, to the master to, um, to kill a worker after a certain amount of uh, reload. For example, if you try to reload uh, three times the worker of and it's, if he's still there because there is some stuff to do, it will be uh, killed on the force reload. And you can achieve the, the, the same thing, but uh, with time, with a hard stop after. So uh, after uh, a certain amount of time, it will be killed. OK, so there, there is a, a, f a new feature which is called the master CLI. And uh, to understand why, uh, why we made this, we, we need to, to understand uh, what are the flow in the, the previous, uh, previous model. So basically, uh, when, you, when you had uh, two processes, you, you needed to, to have uh, one CLI on each process, which is not really convenient. And the problem is that when you reload the, the processes, uh, the CLI is bound on the new process, and you won't be able to access to the previous processes. So the master CLI is connected directly to all processes, so you can, you, you can connect to, to any process, the new one and the old one. Uh, the master CLI is uh, configurable with an HR proxy argument, so you, you don't need to, to modify your configuration, your configuration file. So you just have to put a dash S with a bind, which can be a pass, an IP. Uh, and you can use any keyword uh, that, that are useful. So, this, there are the same keyword as uh, at the bind line in the HEPOXY configuration. 
So for example, you can, uh, you can change the, the UID, the GID. Uh, you can even uh, use SSL if you want. Um, you can also use uh, several uh, master CLI. So for example, uh, you can use uh, one CLI with a level operator on Y CLI with a level user, which will be uh, basically read-only. Uh, there is a few new commands. So the important one are the at uh, symbol and the show proc ones, and also the, the reload, which will uh, do the same as the uh, kill USR, USR2. So the show proc command will, uh, will show you every uh, process. So you will have the PID, the type, type of process, uh, the relative PID, and the, the number of, uh, of reloads. Uh, also the uptime, and uh, something uh, which can be important if you try to update the binary, the version. Uh, so for example, you can see that um, on the last line, uh, the version is not the same uh, because we reloaded with, um, with a new version. Uh, to enter in a, in a process with a CLI, uh, we need, you need to use the, the at prefix. So for example, you can enter with at one, which will enter in the process uh, which has the relative PID one. Uh, there you can, uh, you can type anything uh, like if you were on a, stats, on a normal stats socket. Uh, to kit, you just have to, uh, to type uh, at without anything. And if you want to enter in a null process, you, can use, you can't use the relative PID, so you have to use uh, the, the real PID. The, the last feature which was made uh, in, um, in the master worker are uh, programs. So it's uh, the ability to launch an external binary at uh, ITRA proxy setup, startup, sorry. Uh, it's simple. This is not systemd, so it will just launch binary on uh, send a signal on reload, but don't expect dependencies on uh, complicated stuff. If you need that, use systemd. So the configuration is, uh, is uh, simple. Uh, this is an example we, where I will launch uh, an SPOE agent. Uh, you, you can use uh, any, um, any argument on the, on the program. And as, on the option, uh, start and reload uh, will, um, will permit you to, uh, to relaunch the binary upon an HA proxy reload. So, um, the, the default behavior is, uh, is to send a USR1 signal, and probably your program will kit upon a USR1 signal. So you want to probably restart it. So this option will, uh, will achieve this. OK, so this is, uh, this is all for me. So if you have uh, any question. OK, thank you so much, William.